Five coin. Okay. <laughs> I'm, so about, now, I'm about cardio, not strength. You get you to do uh, like to run your mouth. That part. All right. So you get to the uh, the edge. There's a sign. It says "Welcome to Greenwood." Uh, pretty much, the you guys will be coming in uh, from this side here. Out of ten. So you're coming in uh, from that side of the town. Uh, she walked past a couple of buildings coming in. You basically Left see side. this big building here is a tavern called the Bloated Boar. Boar or horror? Boar. B O A R. <laughs> All right. So, uh, you guys, I take it, well, go, go ahead and go inside. Of course. Of course. Bar. Well, after this time on the road, I can certainly use something to eat. Yeah. All right. All right. You are uh, bushing in, uh, going inside. It's a pretty luxurious uh, place. A few tables in there uh, around. There seems to be an upstairs for um, for rooms to take uh, for a. Uh... There is a uh, large fellow that is sitting next to the bar. Uh, he's got a very weathered uh yellow shirt he looks like he's either eating on it or spilled some shit thing but he's a big bloated guy uh but he's definitely lost in his ale and there's a couple of other people they look like a couple of farmers or some merchants in the area and then kind of just standing off to this side is a very large armored fellow that you instantly recognize as uh your old friend there hephaestus your warforged bodyguard to Reckling Grip. You now see the old mates finally walking through the door after all this time, uh, you looking for them. Gentlemen, how how have you been? I face this. What brings you here? I mean, we didn't expect to see you here. This is a reminder well, of the song quiz. I went looking for time. you. To play. Say <laughs> <laughs> Stop playing with the jukebox. And I'm hearing voice. I'm hearing voices. I I went looking for you, and I didn't find you. And I walked down the road, and then oddly, oddly, I found someone who said he saw you. So I decided to come to this town and wait. Ah, waiting at the bar. You knew where I would go first. <laughs> I did. It, it does seem to be a bit of a problem with you, and I'm sure our angelic friend will have to speak with you on this. Uh, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> it's where I get my power. That is a theory. Perhaps even a good one. It's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Indeed. So tell me of your travels, friend. Ooh. You like uh, hags? You table? No, I don't like hags. Why would I like hags? By definition, oh, that sounds foolish. <laughs> <laughs> the yes, main character. Yes, we get a we get a table. Okay. Um, a pretty young. Not, I mean, not very young, but you know some. Uh, blonde haired blue eyed maiden uh, serving tables uh, comes up uh, what will you gentlemen be drinking and she definitely eyes you uh, Alarian ah uh, I think uh, a round of ales for <laughs> me and my friends would be great and what's your name uh, my name's Kristen oh lovely name you okay. should speak I'm, with her father first <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, HK, I missed you. Well, it is customary, is it not? <laughs> not for her. <laughs> 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 uh, I'll be back. 
you're not you're not drinking uh, you're not drinking anything you haven't been since you got here so i take it yeah. you're, a round you're, of ales and uh can of oil for my friend here excellent <laughs> yes your best what is you your lo- oil, local flavor you cooking oil. he's getting he, he seems to get uh, a little rusty okay i'll check so she kind of gives a little curt and a, an intent and she kind of walks back to uh, to the bike uh, I'll leave you guys a few moments to yourselves to continue to talk. So continue on the story, Alaron. Comes by. I'd like to just include. Uh, I'd like to ask for a mead um, as well. I'll put my. I'll put the ale that uh, was brought out for me in, in front of Alaron. I know he'll drink it, and I'll have a mead. Okay. Okay. I certainly will. Will do. Maybe you'll cast straighter. <laughs> just to for something lighter tonight. <laughs> <laughs> she also, you see, there is a uh, There is a large woman. She is she is uh, tending the bar, and she's eyeing you guys very uh, watchfully. Hey, Jew! I think somebody's got their eye on you. That's going to be up to. There is one other server. Uh, there is another girl who seems to be the same age as Kristen. She's uh, just kind of like hanging around. Uh, she. It looks like she's dealing with the drunk in the corner because um, there's no other patrons uh, except the other two guys in the bar, which don't seem to be drinking too much. Hmm, what do they look like? Uh, they're nice uh, brown hair, curly. Uh, they look they look like they've been working the fields and stuff. Uh, they're kind of like looking to get a few a quick little meal in and some drinks before they uh, okay. Them. So they're eating. They're not drinking. They're not drinking what they're eating. Doing their thing. Yeah, they're not over here listening. Yet. They don't want to give a shit about you guys. Yeah, yeah not like yeah. you, Alaron. They aren't drinking what they're eating. They're. they're <laughs> yeah. Hey. <laughs> Breakfast, the champion. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we should probably. Uh, I'm sure HP wants to hear all about what we've had going on, which has been pretty. Uh, your last little situation. Yeah, so we'll probably fill him in on uh, the, at least on the hag and fun little adventures. The hag, the ogres, the orcs, the troll. Okay. Yeah. Orcs and ogres in the woods. I mean, that's uh, Tuesday, but yeah. (laughs) But I mean, befriending a a dryad and a wormling and (laughs) and then going going up against the hag uh, who tells us about a. Arch Lich in the north. <laughs> so, so so tell, a little different. <laughs> so tell me of this grand victory against the hag. Uh, there was no grand victory. She <laughs> I fired, unfortunately slipped she through Oleski's fingers. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> <laughs> so what you're saying is you needed me. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know that in this particular instance it would have helped, but well, I certainly needed you on the trail. If nothing else, I... <laughs> well, I'm here now. We'll make sure this goes well. Yes. Uh, well, the, before she left, she did tell us of uh, an arch lich in the north that's gathering forces and has some scheme against the Fae going on, which uh, is quite alarming. We should go there. Have you heard any stories yes. of, a, of a lich to the north? We're, we're kind of unsure of the credibility of the information. I have not heard anything specific. I focused almost the entirety of my efforts uh, looking for you. Uh, Finding a I- tavern. Where you knew Alaron would show up eventually. Hey. Well, While you guys are going to talk. I'll that is good. smart thinking. The, the the odds were definitely in favor of me finding you at a tavern. The question was, would Which we find tavern? you at this tavern, the nicer of the two in this town, or the other one, the less nice of the two? Yeah, you know, whichever uh, mood strikes, right? <laughs> I chose the one closest to the entrance to the town. <laughs> figure, figure you weren't gonna let one pass. I've always, I've always told everybody how well. wise you are. <laughs> I always tell everybody that you are the wisest of our band. 
the weapon of Hephaestus himself is more than happy to prove his worth. In this case, knowing where you are. That's right. <laughs> You're good at what you do, sir. I do try. So I'm, uh, I'm certainly on board of investigating the lich further. If, if it holds true, it's definitely a, uh, a menace that needs to be extinguished from these lands. Um, but I would like to investigate some more information, whether this town or as we travel north, um, just to reassure the information is right. Because uh, again, the, the hag was obviously begging for its life. Who knows how much of what it said was true. Mm. And we're going to choose to just travel randomly north because there's an arch lich hanging out somewhere to the north doing something. I mean, I mean, unless you got better plans, I'm open. Mm. I look over to where Kristen is uh, serving tables. She's ah, bringing might <laughs> behave. I. Anybody hungry? Just me? I'm absolutely hungry. I scowl. Starving. I scowl at you. <laughs> My big metal eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> A man's got to eat. A man certainly does. Fortunately, I'm not possessed of such weakness. Dang. And then you can... Um, <laughs> Can everybody sure. but can everybody but Jake make a perception check, please? Ten. Thirteen. Thirteen. Um just don't perception. Seven. <laughs> my big eye my my big eyebrows got in the way of my view. <laughs> Jew, what was yours? Five. Five. I'm sorry, I'm 10 straight up. I don't have a... I'm reading. No, no, <laughs> I'm reading a third. book. <laughs> you're, you're 10? Okay. All right. If I was investigating, I get my bonus, but not just perceiving. <sighs> okay. Um, you guys got your drinks, you got your food. You have your discussion kind of going on? All right. Uh, anybody want to do anything at the moment? I mean, beyond uh, you guys are chit-chat. <laughs> I'm reading. Well, after another, supper, I'm can I get gonna... another perception check from everybody, please? <laughs> 15. 10. 5. Woo. 2. Did I not tell you guys to work on your skills? <laughs> Man, I'm drinking. <laughs> I was reading, but then you mentioned it. Now I'm looking around. I'm trying to <laughs> I mean, after supper, <sighs> okay. I do plan on bringing, uh, you know, Medicus's healing to the town if there's anybody that needs it. But um, that's after <laughs> after a meal and right. in our planning here. Okay. Um, you guys, uh, so there's there's. Rooms to be offered up. They uh, they cost two gold for the night. Uh, that's one room for one person. So what do you guys want to do? Uh, let me see. I didn't write down. Did we start with any gold that we could use to buy armor or have? I don't remember. Uh, um, I'll give you now since you're the party leader. You have. Uh, so I got a little bit. Okay, I will also give the party uh, it starts with Jake, you're in charge of it. Uh, there's 250 gold for you two um, amongst the group to come in. That's a pool. And then if anybody has any other I'm... character creation that goes from there. So what would you... Okay, I would have... You like to go. It's about, I you, mean... You guys want to still do... You want to do some more stuff in the town? It's still an option. I'm just asking, is there anything yeah. you want to particularly do? Or party go? Well, I mean, at some point before we leave, I'm going to go buy a component pouch so I have it. So I'm definitely okay. going to be using some gold for that. 
Well, I, I definitely but, uh, think take a few minutes and establish an actual plan of, you know, moving forward here, what we're doing and what our intent is. Perhaps we should locate um, a map or a guide of the towns to the north so we have, so we can decide which would be the first towns we go to, yeah. to investigate. It's a good idea. I would have divvied up the gold with everybody, just 50 each, to each party member. Okay. So all you guys now have 50 gold? Yay. On top of anything that was part of your character creation things. Huh. Like 200 gold here I have written down. Jeez, Oops. folks. Why the hell do you have 200 gold? Rich. I'm trying to figure that out. Why would I have 200 gold? <laughs> did you did you tell us did you tell us a character creation that we had 200 gold to spend on stuff? <laughs> Maybe. I got no <laughs> such indication. Nope. Uh, I certainly just, had no such information. I uh, just, I don't know why I have 200 there. I'm I'm a racist. That's crazy. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> stole it. <laughs> is it you bought, I mean, I am a thief. <laughs> maybe. A background, maybe. What did you take for a background? Assassin. Not even really a thief. Maybe. Maybe he put. Maybe you put on your winter jacket and it was in the pocket from last. <laughs> I mean, actual character background. Um, oh, like background, background. Yeah. The thing um, that gave you starting. If you, took, stuff. <laughs> if you took like noble or something, it would have. Outlander. Nope. Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> nah. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. I, I got rid of the two hundred. No problem. <laughs> yeah. No, I had two hundred too. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you guys want to do? Any other? Any other? Twenty. All right. So, where should we go first? Well, I like the idea of either trying to procure a map or some sort of information on potential destination. Um, as Alexi kind of alluded to, I don't want to just randomly wander north. I'd prefer to have a somewhat of a direction on where we're headed. Um, some way of, again, further fortifying the information that we were given to make sure we're not on a wild goose hunt while the hag continues to roam the woods and Cause potential right, and are we are we going to just tear off on a quest here with no with no resources or I mean we've got some money but that'll only get us a few towns away from where we're at now and more importantly how do we get word back to to uh, Reckman that well uh, as to what we're doing and why we've gone north. You want to fill him in on that, Alaren? Uh, it's... I'd offer you a drink if you drink. Uh, we got some bad news. Want uh... <laughs> to uh? Jeez, I don't know. Should we? Should we He's do dead. this here or go for a walk? All right. Oh, waste she's really not, beating around in the bush. Waste not your time trying to find a soft way to place the word no. things. Tell me. We Easy. lost him in the last uh, in the last big battle. Uh, HK, you know Rec Reckland Pass. You were you were all there. Oh, okay. You, right. guys, just, you guys just you just needed separated to when, you guys, when the, the rest of the four went to the okay. the, uh, the last lot first. You were you were securing the last of the boat that got you back. So yeah. his loss is not unknown to you. Okay. All right. Well, you didn't you didn't need me to break you that there, to you. Okay. To all right. There, there you go. <laughs> 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 Hmm. Well, let us just get our get guides, get possible locations, and then we can decide based on that information that we have. I mean, are we are we going to be able to do all this on what we already have, or are we going to need to find some other way to procure some income to fund all this? 
we well, can I think first we need to get the information on on you know how far north this potentially might be. North could be a few uh, miles, or it could be a few thousand miles. If it's a few thousand, could, obviously we'll need greater resources. Could be we, so far north it's south. We, uh, I don't believe that's possible. Um, <laughs> we could always so hire ourselves. The land is flat. <laughs> <laughs> you we might fall off the edge there's no edge to fall out it's an endless world the sky is endless the land is endless if you keep walking you'll eventually keep walking there's no end to the walking um, sure. um I, what i was saying was is we should um consider the fact that we can always hire ourselves out for any missions we deem worthy along the way there's always yeah. going to be villages that have local monsters local difficulties bullies yeah, that need we're to gonna be have to that's how i've always made it with living yeah we're gonna have to stop at villages to you know get supplies and make sure we're on the right track so with an idea of what towns are <laughs> ahead of us, we should always be able to just gather enough resources to go to the next town and then go from there. Yeah. So I think we need to... I don't sing. I think we need to find a, a map of uh, I don't the land then uh, going north. I don't sing, but I can play cymbals. <laughs> that's a joke I'm no, I'm you no asked bard, me to but... learn how to tell a joke I told a joke <laughs> <laughs> you made me you laugh tell it, you have to go <laughs> after you tell it though you have to go ha 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 it wasn't that funny <laughs> it wasn't that funny <laughs> I'm glad we agree it was a it was a three ha joke so let's uh, uh, let's look about this town and see what information we can gather. Obviously, we're not going to go on a blindless journey. Excellent. I, I stand up and I pick up my tower shield and my spear. Let us go. I forget how big you are. Yeah, All seven foot tall of me. We know who's going first so, for now on. Are you all going together or splitting up? Uh, well, as I said, my intent is to to check and see if anybody in the town needs healing. While we're here, I need to bring, you know, bring the touch of healing that I can. No, Aleron, not that touch of healing. That's your department. <laughs> into the rest of the healing. <laughs> His healing. You know, I think we should all go together to keep eyes on each other. Alexi, I would like to also go around the town and see if I can uh, lend out my touch of healing. Your touch of healing leads <laughs> to sores. <laughs> right, it increases my job load. That's why. That's why I hang out. That's why I hang out with Alexi. <laughs> Alexi, feel free to take donations. Everyone, make a perception check again. Wow. Just Eight. Wow. Six. Eleven. Not last. <laughs> Man, these metal dice are not my friend tonight. <laughs> I don't think anybody's uh, been happy. Okay. Are we drunk? <laughs> I guess. You guys don't hold me. <laughs> Am I drunk yet? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Maybe maybe one more round before we go. <laughs> I, I think I'm good. I'm... I need more bread to soak up what I've, I've drank so far. How about a pretzel? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> a pretzel. <laughs> All right. Uh, so you guys want one more round of food and then and then head out? Is that your plan? Does this establishment okay, have uh, uh, sleeping quarters or do we have to get yes. this someplace else? I know you said that the... Two gold, two gold a room. But place. that's here in this building. In this building, How far from the hag layer are we? Another perception check by everyone, please. 
Oh, hey! Rico, you're two days away. Two half days away. 19. <laughs> 19, all right. <laughs> Seven. 20, unnatural. Did you? We were bound to notice Say, something. Okay. Uh, 20, not natural. 20, not natural. Okay. So, Spoke and Jew, Alaren is winking at Kristen. You, you kind of caught the one her direction. Well, and like there seems to be some type of exchange yeah. that has been going on. Well, you're, you're, uh, it's actually been going on for a while, so you guys are surprised. All your perceptions you failed <laughs> was a little, little thing going on between the two of them that looked like it's been going on for a little while. <laughs> He's had a quite a relationship going on right over you guys' table. <laughs> I'm not surprised. <laughs> she has been attentive to your table very well. And he's blushing and happy. <laughs> we we are so getting run out. Of course, that's of only town. that's only that's only Jew and Spoke know this. Alexi and HK again. You have no idea what he's doing. You're so most involved with this. Right, figuring out what we're actually Spook, doing. Alexi, the ale is good. The food seems to be good. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. Spoke. I I think we need a cover our tab and uh, go gather information before uh, we end up wasting Starts making trouble. time. Yeah. Okay. There, Sounds there good. Is, <laughs> there is the other tavern, the Warm Cloak. As I said, the lesser of the two bars as far as quality, but my experience has been the lesser quality, the more information can be gleaned. You know, I've heard something very similar. You know, if you guys want to go there, I know you're going there. I can stay back and see if I can figure anything out. No, you're here. coming with us. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> it is highly unlikely that we are going to leave you to your own devices. My own when, devices? <laughs> when you have not spoken and broken bread with her father. <laughs> Yeah, you need Who's to at father? least do that, man. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Any I agree with HK. You should walk into a town with a sign that says, all fathers of daughters, please come to meet me. Break bread with all of them, and then we won't have these problems. Ah, <laughs> like a whole batch thing, just get it all over with right away, and then yes. you're free to go. It's yeah, most actually, efficient. That, that, yeah. No, that's not... No. That's not. Right. You want <laughs> It's one you, conversation. He wastes like, less breath, just less know, energy. I'll, it I'll definitely make makes sense. sense. You're, you're not helping. The Alaron, here's your ointment. Hey, I'll get a table. You start working on the sign. Let's get this thing going. I'm gonna put Epstein on your sign. Let's go. We need to go gather information. <laughs> no one knows what that is here. <laughs> <laughs> of course, Jew starts talking about it. Oh, Is he one of your tribe? Let, well, let us go. Are you all selling the tab? Yeah. Kristen will ask if yeah. you're coming back. Uh, uh, depends on how... We we do need a place to stay, fellas. We should certainly stay here and not there. Yeah. She agrees. She, yeah, we're going to be getting some room. Yeah, I bet she does. <laughs> Fear not, Smoke. Okay. I will. I will guard. I will guard his up. door. Um, <laughs> I bet so you, you guys, will. between all the eating and drinking, it, it costs you guys like, uh, let's say, six gold. I'll pay it. So, amongst you, and that's just, uh, that's covering the expenses. That's not tip. Thanks, Jew. He, he, he's gonna handle the tip. Uh, <laughs> just the tip. <laughs> <laughs> I leave. I leave a gold and a promise for more. <laughs> All right, she smiles back. <laughs> All right. Um, All right, you guys are outside the uh, the bloody board. What are you doing now? Well, we're going to what was the other bar called? Something. The warm cloak. cloak. The warm the warm cloak. cloak. Yeah. What warm time of day cloak. is? <laughs> That's what you're gonna get later. <laughs> uh, about four. It's about five p.m. You guys got there about mid afternoon. Yeah, you know, I feel it's early enough of the day. I can I can go around and check for people that are in need of healing. If there's a 
Okay. So we go to the map. Oh, no. It is that long building right there. That's the that's the cloak. Okay. In between here and there, is there uh, whatever store I would buy a component pouch from? Uh, investigation, please. You keep saying component. These do, these I, guys just put out should put out some signs. Uh, Twenty five. I can't hit anything with a firebolt, yeah. but I can investigate. <laughs> <laughs> you are doing that. <laughs> How difficult? Casting with the wrong In, arm. <laughs> investigating what a merchant sells. Yeah. Okay. Their signs are very confusing here. So it is it, building up. So that's where you want to go is down here. It's on the other side of the tavern. So that's where you guys have just left. It is. Up okay. That hey, you guys. That's you guys. You guys mind if we make a quick stop over there so I can grab floor. something? That's and fine. Then, then we'll head yep. over the warm cloak. Sure. Yep. All right, so we're just gonna head over to there and so I can buy a component pouch. All right. You get to uh, just a, in a, case. a building and it's got a, a sign on it: DB General Store. Oh. All right. General Store. Yeah. So, go inside. Go inside. Yeah. There yeah. is a, uh, a burly old dwarf behind there. Yep. What can I do for you? You guys are new in the town in Greenwood. Never seen you, but... Yeah, we just got in town and looking for a uh, component house. That, that, and, he, and he's looking up at HK. Got a goddamn iron golem? I am now. no golem. I have much more wit and banter. I guess. I've never heard no golem talk before. Where'd you come from? And he knows. He tells jokes, too. I come from the forge of Hephaestus himself. Oh. Well, damn. What what you need, golem? I need my friends to be well provisioned. I need my friends to be happy. And I need to protect them from all dangers. Okay, Gollum, I got it. Also, if you have any essential oils, I, I would like to oil. like to see what you have. <laughs> Freaking essential oils. oils. <laughs> yeah, I got I got some oils. <laughs> I need some lavender to help Excellent. me sleep. <laughs> what flavors? Did you say essential? Yeah. Uh, I got some. I got some flowerly ones like rose and lavender. Is that you, you have what now? Rose. Um. I got um, some things that were made with like some pigs, I think. If you buy all of them, you can host a party and then sell them to your friends who then can sell them to their friends. <laughs> that sounds like no magic. I don't like that idea. <laughs> so, you, so you don't want a big drape around you? Call them like a big hood. I, I I think I so, would I, you look I like, like a teepee, but how how about this? Mm. It can't be white. <laughs> how about weapons oil, like for sharpening blades? Yeah, I got excellent. Uh, one so did you want the rose oil? Eh, it may help someday. I'll one take silk. that. That's also silk. You know, I like Too it when silver. you use the lavender. Uh, personally, you know, I like it when you use the lavender. It smells good. That's another for sleepy. It helps when I tell uh, Jew bedtime stories. I like your friends. Gets them to sleep faster. <laughs> Two is fine. I'm not one of your barmaids. Back off. <laughs> no, you have a I map to read to you every night. Do you have a map of the lands? Uh, okay. What, what else do you need? Map. Me? I, I don't do maps. I need a component you know pouch. Does? Do you have you one? Have... Yeah, you need to go to the Phoenix Feather. Penelope. She's the... Excellent. We shall definitely make a pit stop there. Penelope at the Phoenix Feather? Yep. She have you heard any tales of a evil, dark witch into the north? Witch. I, I know a bunch of, of attacks up in the north and stuff by werewolves. 
Lich, please. Werewolves. Mm. Yeah, we already so. heard about. Yeah, we already probably. heard about. You, you look at travelers. They'll, they'll all go. With, they, they'll come on the warm cloak. Yeah, all the people that come in and out of the town, they always go with the warm cloak. Scruffy yeah. bunch. Scruffy bunch. Hooligans, high women, dirty rangers. <laughs> we have no rangers amongst our uh, amongst our team. Really? How the hell do you get around? That naked boy over there? He a scout? He an orphan? <laughs> he looks pretty short though. <laughs> Not very bearded. We try to stay well kept. All right. Did you get your component pouch, Alara? I hope so. <laughs> Right. That's five. Five silvers for your component. Uh, you got it, pal. Well, uh, what direction is the uh, Phoenix feather? All right, I'm looking at my map. Uh, it is on the other side of the big building. It's, uh, it's up here. Uh, so it's like the opposite corner of the warm cloak. That, that building right there. Yeah. Yep. You just have to go, you have, you have to go around a little corner. And... Okay. We can go that after we hit the uh, warm cloak up. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go get another drink. Woo. All right. So, uh, you guys go. Uh, this area here has got a lot of um, a lot of the trees have grown around the buildings. Like a lot of the other places seem to be kind of cleared out. Sun hits the buildings inside pretty well. This area here is very shadowy and stuff like that. Going in, um, it's kind of got like a lot of dark wood. It's well kept, but it's definitely um, it's got all these weird little shadowy elements that are that are to it. Uh, you go inside. There is a, a guy tending bar. There is a big half work dude. He's very close by the bar. He immediately makes eye contact with each of you. Uh, you definitely get the vibe that he's uh, he's probably the bouncer. Um, and there is a uh, server. She's got uh, long black hair, very sleek, uh, um, kind of like kind of moving about. And she uh, she sees you guys and ushers you to a table. Thank you. With much helps fanfare. And there is, there is, seems to be a woman. Uh, she seems to be one of those quote unquote dirty ranger types uh, in the back corner of the, of the rest of the tavern. Alaron the dirty refers to the dirt, not her mindset. <laughs> if you say so. It's hard to know what's in one's mindset. <laughs> oh. They're looking for food, propagation, okay. so have, and resources. Not you have, you have a table? The woman comes by and she goes, Hi. Ah, Puss, what are you having? Uh, a round of your finest mead and an apple juice for my friend Alexi here. Oh, wait, he's apple not juice. with us, is he? <laughs> I, I, I have water. I have water. We don't do actually, any type of fruit juice. Actually, I don't think he's with us. No, he's Did not. he go heal? Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, maybe no, he can. No. Maybe he can handle a mead. I guess. <laughs> Me? Very well. He walked off the last one. Um, I'm here. Do I not? Am I not showing up? Yeah, you're here. Oh, we hear you. Nope, we got you. Okay, you're all there. All right. So she goes off. She goes by. She's put. She slams the time curves all in front of you. So all. I I need nothing. Thank hey, you, everybody. Uh, meet for Matt. Uh, I I ordered you one anyway. It was just a way of ordering me a second. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, you, you have one of... I look around. I don't think the service is oh, so poor that me. that was You're necessary. All at the table. <laughs> um, do you guys want food or something or what? 
No, I think just the ales for uh, sustenance. Um, All right. I'm not eating here. Well, you guys are doing, Tom. What are you guys doing here? Well, we're just getting off the trail. Um, I'm not even sure what the name of this town is, actually. Where, where are we? Greenwood. 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 Your town of Greenwood. You know, at this point, we're, I think, we're looking for our next grand adventure. We're looking at information on the north as well. What lies to the north? You know, what's been going on in the north? Specifically, how far to the next town to the north? Um, maybe a week. There might be a dock town. It's still a week. Ooh, that's a travel. Is it a, a straight road, well traveled, uh, untraveled? What can we expect? Um, there's not many roads up there in, this, in that area. Place is all messed up. Used to be a lot of control by the Fey, but now there's nothing but werewolves that run up, run amok up there. That's the second oh, time we I heard, heard that. werewolves. We did hear, we did hear previously there were werewolves at the coast. That might be the same werewolves. Yeah, there's an army of them. Do you know where we could find a guide? Army? You can go werewolves. try Pepper. You can try Pepper over there, but I don't know if she'll go north. Sergeant Pepper. I don't know if I want to go north, but there's an army of werewolves. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having second fear, thoughts here. I fear yeah. not like anthropy. So Arch Lich uh -huh. is is perfectly fine to run north to, but but army of werewolves is somehow more dire than than an Arch Lich. Yeah, when you say Arch Lich, it's like one person. You say army of werewolves, that's a lot. <laughs> There's only five yes. of us. You need to understand something about werewolves. The way I figure it, unless they were born that way, they've all lost at least one fight. That means they can be defeated. It's it, can happen. So it can happen to anybody. We don't know what these people were like. It could happen to anybody. Apparently that's what happened to my favorite bard. <laughs> it all comes back. Um, I don't think a bunch of adventurers or, or mercenaries or something. Why would you guys going up north is just looking for trouble? Why don't you guys just go east? Um, Trouble's his middle name. The good stuff. Why? What? What is east? Actually, actually, my middle name is Score, but I thought it was Reginald. No. Why did I think Reginald? Jeez. Must be Jew. That must be Jew's middle name. Kenrick. Actually, it's danger. What is you danger? To us, and I say you can refer to me as HK. Today was a good day. I didn't even have to use my HK. <laughs> 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 oh. I love I love the story about when you scored a triple double. Okay, guys, you know, <laughs> I get the bar. I don't know about you guys. Uh, she walks away. <laughs> Wait, we didn't figure out what was east. <laughs> Haven't we been? Here? She's tired, you guys. Uh, I might add, you will notice. What's wrong, Alara? On this one, too old for you to uh, schmooze up and get information from. I will. Notice, uh, I was, I was saving one for you. This server is not wearing like a um, server type of outfit. She's actually in uh, some pretty decent leather. The same as the bartender and. Uh oh. So they're in a uniform. They're they're armored in leather. Well, oh, it's kind not, of a it's not, house place. It's, I don't blame them. So it's no, Alan, so it's not like that kind of leather. Yeah, it's not gimp leather. It's like a. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a red room? <laughs> <laughs> so so what you're saying is these these folks are dressed an awful lot like Spoke. Yes. Friend, friends of yours? Yeah, might be time for you to start talking. Oh, friends of, of mine. 
I don't think they're really friends of mine. I just Colleagues. think that we walk around the same same peers. Mm. Well, maybe so, you could would have better luck if you talked to them. That's fair. Yeah. Maybe I should so go talk to you, the ranger. Yeah, why don't you go talk? Because um, I'm thinking if the next town is a week away, we're definitely going to need to secure some sort of uh, passage, whether it's horse or boat or wagon or something, because that's going to be a long trek. And you all will need food. Haven't you watched Lord of the Rings? We're walking, brother. And water. And walking. And water. And, and walking. And walking. I mean, I'm and okay walking. with that, but I don't know if your <laughs> scrawny least... little wizard bodies can handle it. Unlike Lord Until... of the Rings, though. Until I call I in birds, the eagles. So you're not getting any help. No, I hate birds. Lee will tell you what happens to flying. But. <laughs> my world. <laughs> we have, we have met a tree we could there. ride. We have met a tree we could ride. <laughs> That's different. Um, Benny, if I look around this tavern at all, do I see any thieves no can't writing? <laughs> Perception check, please. Ten. 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 Um, you have a feeling that the they are, uh, their mannerisms and stuff. You know that they have a very roguish element to them. Um, right. but you don't see anything that lists any type of actual guild affiliation that you show up, which may not be uncommon being a small outside town, but again, it could also be being a very outward outlying network that you're just not familiar with at all. So um, there's that. Um, then let me uh, approach the bartender then. Okay. Um, kind of sidle up to him, um, order an ale. All right. Uh, excuse me, friend. Uh, I was you wondering if you, if you I, could, I uh, doing, friend? very well. Um, I was wondering if you might have, um, any information about, uh, jobs or caravans heading up north. Not much comes in and out of Greenwood. No. Nope. Anyone around here been up there lately? You're you're very far. Uh, no, there's too much uh, danger going on up there. Hmm. Um. I don't know. What brings you to town? Just looking for danger. Well, looking to make a living at least, maybe solve a problem here or there. It's what me and my friends like to do is solve problems. Then why don't you go east? What's out east? Uh, east of St. Augustine. The Elven Kingdom. And all the human settlements are over there. That's where all the money making is. That's Especially fair. for mercenary work. You're looking to get into wars. Well, looking to get into work, anyways. Understandable. Not much out here. You're in the forest. Ain't nothing but here but trouble, especially out in the out in the woods area. Okay. Well, thank you very much for your help. No problem. Come back to the table. Um, thanks. <laughs> Um, maybe heading out to the east or towards St. Augustine would be a good idea then. If there's more work and more way to support ourselves headed out that way. Hmm. If there's a town to the north, clearly there will be people who need protection on the road. Yeah, that's I'm that seems to just be taking us out of the way of what we're... Well, if we're headed towards we're conflict, to if St. Augustine is in war, that seems like a good place to start. That's oh, we could just be in war with each other. 
Nothing, nothing to do with healing. Absolutely. That's not the She's first the time north. that we've uh, we've heard east as well, though. Yeah. If the lich is in the north and he is causing problems, the werewolves are north and they are raising an army, then it stands to reason that couldn't the lich be raising the army of werewolves? I think the werewolves were to the west, but east, I think. No, east is St. Augustine where the in the oh. the human settlements. Oh. West to the co the vampire or the no vampires yet. The, the werewolves. The werewolves. It's because we haven't talked about South yet. Yeah, no <laughs> vampires. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they're they're hanging out with the lich. We just haven't come heard about them yet. I think I believe the werewolves were to the west at the coast. From what we've the, heard, I thought she just said north were werewolves though. Uh, I was pretty sure they were to the north. That's my recollection of her statement. I'm kind of thinking we might need to do some work in and around here, maybe east. Well, we haven't gone some, to the uh, we haven't we haven't gone to the Phoenix Feather yet and talked to the map maker, who is obviously going to know more about what settlements are where and you whichever know, probably have what, more of their finger on the pulse of what's going on. True. Should Good point. just try to figure out who else is trying to go there and get ourselves hired on to support them or protect them. Yeah. That's where I was going, is if there's an army of werewolves and this great anti-dark lich, whatever you want to call it, we're probably going to need more than five of us to you know, make our way into that territory and be useful. From the uh, corner of the bar, a... A uh, sharp uh, female voice speaks up. Ain't nobody looking for the arch lich. You guys are fools to even tickle that fancy of an idea. So you've heard of it? Oh, yeah. I've been up there. North. I've been up on the northern end of the side of the coast. It's all bad shit. Them werewolves are running all them up. They're all part of his army. And they ain't his only army. What other armies does he have? She kicks herself off the table, stretching her, uh, you know, she's pretty uh, well built. She looks like she has, she's a very seasoned uh, warrior, and definitely pulling the rangers. So she doesn't need Simistar's a book. She aside and a very well strung bow. No, she doesn't look like she needs a book. She looks definitely, she doesn't look as strong as uh, Jew, but she definitely is a condition and capable of, uh, you know, for long treks out in the, in the wilderness. Um, Would that be that other rocking, picture that you said? Where two are her things. That's your other picture. Yep. Okay. So uh, she, she shows up. She uh, sits herself down. Well met. My name is Pepper McCollum. Now, for an ale, I'll tell you what's going on around here. I drop coin to uh, pay for her ale. All right. The server comes up, picks up the coin, goes back, grabs an ale, drops it in. She goes. All right. Apparently, you guys are definitely new. And I don't know why you'd be looking for that art lich. But that guy, that son of a bitch, Dark Sun, he's got quite his web into what's going on in the north. There's definitely armies of uh, uh, werewolves, and he has a general that's been leading it. Now, I heard that his top general was removed lately. But that other son of a bitch, he's been still moving up. <clears throat> down the coast and he's ransacked all along the docks there's no movement of any ships going up and down the coast the ripper jack is generally quite an ass and he's made quite his name himself in the woods around here ripper jack to the roman armies of zombies and orcs yep if there's no movement on the ships that's bad for the land that needs to be taken well it's care. bad he's been he's fighting with saint augustine the Archlich is trying to pressure St. Augustine, the light, the holy light of the of the island, into submission. And he's you said he's commanding that lives in there. And he doesn't want that thing doing any side of help. He's commanding numerous armies of all types. Where zombies, skeletons, vampires, orcs, 
other white dragons. There's white dragons been flying around. That son of a bitch has got a force going on. It's been real tough. For anyone moving around, they they been they were able to wipe out an elven army a few years back. What type of force did they bring to bear to take out the elves? All of the above. We're, we're assuming undead, whatever. But all I know from the area I heard, there is a group of one of the generals' daughters. There's just something that's got a little band that's been roaming around the top of the north area. They've had some success, I've heard. Um, they come out of uh, Flowerdale in the, on the corner of the east, but you're still talking about a map. And there's definitely something going on in one of the, uh, the dock towns far west of here. Well, when we set out on this trail, we, we were looking to protect our forest, our home. And this is sounding more and more like a threat that's going to roll over our forest if somebody doesn't stand in its way. Well, yeah, that's definitely happening. It's been happening. The werewolves have left the dominance. Even the fairy and the sprite, they're all hiding right now. Those beasts are nasty. And Ripper Jack is the, is the first one on your little checklist if that's what you're looking for. Because he's the head the linchpin of the werewolf army. And I heard he Who's, got away from the from that uh, elven, elven maiden. Who is the previous general you mentioned that is no longer in charge? And why? Rumor has it was a, it was some elf, but no one's confirmed that. All I Did heard you... that there was a big conflict a little while back, about a couple weeks ago. Hmm. Any chance we can get a wormling to ally up with us? <laughs> Dragon? Yeah. That'd be something. Eddie <clears throat> wants to help. He wants to make a difference. Yeah, and this would be uh, might be this would certainly be the case that we could use it. Yeah. Did you say that Ripper Jack has been operating on the coast? Yeah, all Up along and down the, west. the coast. Yeah, amongst the west here. That's his domain. There's been other activity. This Arch Lich has some shit going on in the north. I don't know much about that. There's a couple of towns and villages up there, but I wasn't able to get that far up. These werewolves are patrolling too heavily up in the woods here. All I know that there was a con with this elven general's daughter or something. I don't know the connection fully, but I just know that there was some type of probe west and then they're going back because I heard there's an army coming north. And it's got white dragons because they're all over this place. Super. Wow. I've never you killed. You guys don't look like you're uh, all decked up to go for the big shit, though, so. I will take on any threat necessary. If only we had an army of you, HK. <laughs> Hephaestus has not blessed the world thusly. But I in the interim, know. you have me. Well, I do know how to get to that pretty rugged dock town. I, like I said, I don't know the state. I believe it's been overrun by some some type of his forces, but I know Ripper Jack has had some serious supply supply routes, connections, or has some type of importance. I never went inside because I had no reason to. But if you want to get stirred up in that mess, that's your worth a cup of ale, my friends. Well, I think uh, thank you very much for your time and your information. Are you yeah. game for uh, trying to help clear up some of this mess, Pepper? Strength in numbers. Uh, I'll get you to the town, but I ain't taking on the Arch Lich. We're not talking about the Arch Lich. We're talking about this Ripper Jack. I think step one is... is Ripper Jack? Definitely opening up the uh, trade routes again along the coast. Um, if we can do that that would give us a better chance of rallying the uh, the folks in the area to potentially help us out. Is If we look at big picture, and you're talking a lich with armies, plural, with everything from zombies to orcs and werewolves and lions and tigers and bears, 
I think we probably need as much help as we can get. So if we can open up the trade routes, that would bring us a lot of favor throughout the that area um, and help us pull strings on bringing allies in as we continue up the chain. That's my thought. I feel the hand of Medicus reaching out to me on this one. This type of conflict is going to cause many injuries and a lot of suffering that's going to need to be alleviated. I suspect um, bringing the, the healing touch to the people here and, and restoring their lives will benefit everybody. I'll just say from my time in the military, a, a band of us, five or even ten strong, is no match for for what we're hearing. I don't care how strong we think and tough we think we are. There's no way that we would be able to power through them with with any hope. We we need we need we need armies plural on our side as well. So the we battle need to take book, it one step at a time. The battle book of Psalms clearly states when small numbers exist, leadership can be removed. We go after the leader, not the destruction of the army. Yes, agreed. Agreed. But in order to do that, we need to be able to navigate around those other armies. No, we, if we can travel to this town, if we can take on this Ripper Jack, we don't need to defeat his army. We do that, report back our success, and then the kingdoms that surround, they can tackle a confused and diminished army. Yes. We need to go in and create the disruption and open that vanguard. Even if we don't join the conflict directly, our efforts could support those who are, are in this fight. Absolutely. I think yeah, the heads yeah. off of snakes is what I'm good at. I'm for it. And that's exactly where I was alluding to is is we, we have to use we have to use our wisdom along with the strength and that I, I believe that is uh, what HK said is is the route to go. Step one, Ripper Jack, open up that channel, open up the uh, the routes. Obviously, if if depending on how far north, and we will we'll talk to the the map maker. Um, depending on how far north we have to go, uh, if we have shipping lanes available, it'll make that trek back and forth a lot easier. Um, but we might have to go west. There sounds like there's stuff, uh, or west, east. The only thing, I, the only thing that sounds safe right now is south, and that's probably only because the uh, the lich's reach hasn't gone that far yet. So, and if we don't do something with the west, because they have the trade routes. South won't be safe for long. Exactly. So let's let's go talk to the map maker, see what information we can gather from there. Um, definitely get a map of the lands because you know my navigational skills are subpar <laughs> in some of these dense areas. At best. Um, and then we'll have Pepper take us to the docks, and uh, we'll see what. What can be ascertained from there? Sound like the plan? Yeah. Pepper, are you going to be here for, uh, for a little bit in the tavern? Yeah. Okay. We are going to go and talk to the, uh, the map maker in town. Penelope. And we will be back and say, uh, should we plan for... Well, we'll leave it up to you on when you want to set foot towards the uh, the ports, if we want to leave in a day or two days' time. But uh, here, I tossed another couple gold on the table. Buy yourself another round, and we'll be back shortly. Okay. So who's going to see the map maker? Just you and... I'll, I'll go. I think everybody. <laughs> oh, I'll go. Okay. Spoke, you staying or going? 
Um, uh, Smoke, why don't you actually stay behind and see if they might open up to yeah, you? Yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna say, yeah. Why don't I hang out? Yeah. Okay. Pulaski, map maker, or stay. No, I'll go to the map maker because I'm, I'm interested in hearing what, what a person who knows the area is, is gonna say. Um, but I'm thinking okay. we definitely need to, to stock up, or I need to stock up on as many healing supplies as I can get before we leave this, uh, this town. It sounds like my particular okay. role in this is going to be establishing some kind of triage center for for the injured here. <laughs> Spokes are going to go down. Yeah. Just try not to run out. Triage just for me. Yeah. Right. We'll, we'll try not to send you out first this time. <laughs> right. Behind with uh, Pepper. That crowd in that bar didn't seem to yeah. be my kind of crowd, so I'm I'm not sure I wanted to hang around there. Okay, cool. I can go back. I can go back to the like other one if you guys thing. need me to. No, you can stay with us, alone. <laughs> All right. So you guys, uh, you guys make your way around, which apparently is the big is the big building. Uh, you find a place. You find the little phoenix feather. It's got a little quill thing. Going in. Uh, you open the door. Go inside. A little tingle on the door. Bring it in there. And she's, uh, an old lady uh, peeks up. Bifocals in her eyes. Like, oh, he hello? What can I do to you, boys? Uh, Penelope, are you a. We, we've been told you are uh, a map maker? Yes, I do all the maps. We are seeking a map of the lands, the um, particularly uh, maps that could help us navigate to the ports and to the north. Oh, oh okay. Oh, oh. You want? I just want map going to to the port city. Yes. Oh, all right. <laughs> Any details about the land right, I, in the port city would also be. Oh, very, very heavily wooded. There is a main road, and she pulls out a map and she fumbles around like that. And she lays out a map in front of you. Uh, it looks like um, it looks about three weeks travel from what you guys could figure from la like landmarking. And, like, car gonna be type of time frame and marking stuff like that. Uh, it's heavily wooded. There is a uh, picture of it looks like a city, which seems to like open up to where a lot of port docks would be. Um, looks like it would could house up to 20 something odd ships, um, a fishing type of settlement, probably a number around, you know, 50, 60 buildings and stuff like that. Does not look like the place is uh, uh, really uh, defended. Looks like there may be some barricaded wooded walls, but doesn't look like there's anything out of brick. Um, there's not much other defining features of the there's a lot of like little uh, camp scribbles that say the woods are very difficult. Uh, do not follow like loose trails or anything like that because um, of fate. Fate changing. Uh, and that doesn't quite explain a lot of it, but there's um, there's that part into the map. But you do have that. She also and they're has full of werewolves. <laughs> she doesn't have that. Sure. <laughs> and she does have a world map. So it will be uh, ten gold, ten gold each for each of the maps. Well, that looks to be a very fine map. Um, however, yes. Do you have any other maps that might show alternate routes? Maybe ones that not everybody knows about. How many maps were there? Roll, roll persuasion. Two. Matt, roll persuasion, please. I pay for the maps. Because I'm so good at that. Well, actually, I'm not bad at that, actually. Woo, 17. You're the one talking, buddy. <laughs> 17? 17. She goes, oh, I don't often tell this to anybody at all. It's a, it's a, it's a tough one. You really, it doesn't go above land. Do you want the one that I have that goes under? you want that one? Uh, yes. I'll certainly... I'll take any maps that you want to sell, but yes, if you have something that's oh. showing alternate routes. Well, I, I sell maps. That's what I do. I want to sell you a map. I just didn't know you want that. We'll take one of the under. 
Not bad. Hold on a minute. The upside down. She takes out one of the and she goes, all right, this is, this, oh, that's right. This is all on map, This go, but this goes under. I don't know what's down there, but I think dwarves made this map. This one's rare. This one's going to cost you 50 gold, though. It's the only one I've got. Now, does your under map link up with your above ground map so we know where they, where the, where they intersect? Yeah, it, it, uh, this one has a lot more. Uh, there's not just the one trail that you have that goes with the top one. There seems to be a catacomb network under this one that could lead you directly toward it. Uh, but there's some things that seem like it, to the west, there's look like a deeper drop off. Um, there's something about some port of safe route, but there's mention of underwater. To the right side, looks like it's much more catacomby uh, because it's underneath the woods. I wonder how many leaders that would okay. one, the, one, the middle one underneath looks a little bit um, unpredictable in terms of its structure core. There's a lot of little things in there. It's a lot, there's like a lot of differences of uh, rope bridges that you see, stone bridges. Uh, that kind of navigate part of it. It looks, it looks, dis it could be definitely what you could figure be um, more sneakier, especially for walking Warforge. Um, but it looks like it could potentially have oddity treacherous parts if you're not skilled underneath. Well, okay. I'm, I, I think this is worthy. I'll, I'll pitch the, the money out of my pocket for this map. Uh, but before I do, I wanna, I okay. wanna take a look at it. Um, is there any writing on it? Yes, there is writing on it. Is it Dwarvish? I speak Dwarvish and read Dwarvish, so. Dwarven. Dwarven. Dwarvish. Okay, yep. Like I said, if you read Dwarvish, you will notice the underwater to the left, to the, to the far left of the map, which is west. The middle looks like it has different avenues of trekking that could be like bridges and stuff of that part. The right one mentions a lot about um, a lot of different possible like, underground layers, whatever situation like that. Um, there seems Seems to be a very important one to the far right. That something has something about a root tree, uh, and then there's a but there's a lot of different networks of, of the trails on that part to that. But it's definitely dwarvish notes. Definitely dwarven. Yes. All right. So I'll I'll pitch the fifty gold out of my pocket. That's uh, basically my twenty five and the twenty five from the the company money that I got. Oh. All right. So you have three maps. Anything else, boys? Have you um, heard any uh, tales from the uh, the port city? Has anybody provided you any information recently port? of uh... the di uh, the, di the Dire Marsh town over there? Oh no, let's see. You can always talk to the mayor. He probably knows everything. And no place to go around this area that the mayor don't know about. Sheriff, probably both of those guys. I don't know much. I just pick maps. Uh, whatever yep. kind of comes to me. Get some rangers to help me out here every once in a while. I say that to your colleague, but I'm still Now, so the probably talk to that Pepper. She seems to get on, but she helps me with some of the maps. I was gonna say, she. Uh, I was gonna. Say, how do you, how do you get the maps made? Who does your surveying? I'll see Pepper. But a couple people come around. There's some elk that comes by too. Starts with a Z. Zalia. Zallery. Zoya. That's something. I see. By. I, don't remember. I see there's. Uh, there's Fey markings on some of these maps. Do you know much about the Fey in the area? Ever heard of a. Uh, all over the, northern, over the northern woods. Sprites and pixies. They're all over you know, that place. Do you, do you know anything of a fey queen in the area? No, mayor, mayor might, mayor know all about that shit. He good about that stuff. The mayor. Yeah, the mayor. He know it all. He's the mayor. You want another map? I have, I have a map of the mayor's house. <laughs> uh. Probably just point us to it. 
<laughs> Probably not going in the direction. For how much gold? A gold. One gold. I don't think One we need gold. to know where his bathroom is. No. You want to know where the kitchen might be? The bedroom? Uh, you never know where you're going to need to know. Good map. I'll give her Low a gold detail. piece for him. I'll, 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 I'll buy it. It's got a lot of conf- information. A lot of ladies going in that back, going out in the house. I'll buy it. Okay. We thank well, you very much for your out. time. I got a map of the town too. <laughs> I have much business like this. You got to really look to go. Ahead. We 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 uh, <laughs> we've, we've got a map of the town right now. <laughs> Here's a question uh, for you. How much would we earn if we brought back detailed information about things that happen along the routes on the maps we've just purchased so you can improve your next set of maps? I, I, can, give it, I, I can give you about, you know, it's good information, you know, five gold helping me get maps. Goes a long way to help my business. That's le- That's less than the cost of one of the maps. <laughs> I gotta make my profit. Come on, man. You do what you do. I got to do what I do. <laughs> so for, fair, each, fair for, enough. for each specific piece of information along a route, we would gain five gold. Yeah. Oh, okay. So each. So. I'm go all right. That's not a bad deal. I mean, we're going to be doing that and heading that area anyway, so. I promise you this. You know, I'm where where the farms are? Yes. Huh? You want to map where all the farms are? Yes. That's a. That, <laughs> that's a touch? That's two gold. Big map. Ding, ding. Two. Two gold. Big man. I, 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 gave, <laughs> I gave, gave him two. I am not okay. a man. <laughs> While I travel with them, please don't call me one. And an armor. You're the most armored person I've ever seen here. I, I, I don't like, I don't get it. What? You an elf? You an ogre? You an ogre. I am the armor. You an armor ogre? <laughs> you are the armor? I never heard of that. You want a map of your armor? I roll back. <laughs> I, I, don't, I have a map of I have a map I, of the smithy. You know that map of the smithy house? No, I'm good. Pot I, pro- I promise you this. Where we travel, there, well, will, there will be historic events. You want a map of DB's general store? We've you, want been a map, there. you want a map no, of the blo- no, bloated boar? No. no I have the no. map of the bloated boar. No, I bet you got a map. I bet you no. have a map of the phoenix feather. I do have a map of the Phoenix Feather. <laughs> you, want, you want that map? Let me guess. It says you are here. <laughs> well, only, that's only for me. You want to see the X on me. I have a map of the Worm Cloak. You want that map? Yes. That, that's another goal. Think. <laughs> Guys, we need to you go. The let's, just, bar too? That's a let's, just go, let's just go talk to the man. You want one of the other tavern? You know, no, like, thank you. I, I've noticed that every time we leave the town, HK is always out of money. You got one of the other tavern? It's like a set. <laughs> <coughs> He's a terrible shopper. All right, you guys uh, finally. I'm walking out with all my maps. The haggling a penalty. Uh, where would you like to go now? <laughs> all right, where are you going now? Well, we're gonna go back uh, to the and pick up Spoke if this, if he hasn't. Like, um, do we want to grab him or do we want to go chat up the mayor a little bit? Well, it's starting to get late. Do you really want to to bother the mayor this late in the day? Is it late? Not if it's late now. The mayor should know <laughs> that the town is selling all of the maps of his house. <laughs> You guys, you guys are kidding. You're gonna, well. you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna, well you're done, gonna rat well her done. out. <laughs> well played. You should, you should have bought a map of yeah, your map. Yeah, pushing Rico's <laughs> uh, sense on uh, things like 
<laughs> I like that. Someone else that can bring props to the game. Yeah, he's, he's bringing it up. <laughs> All right. So you guys got to go grab Spoke first? Head back to the, the warm cloak? Yeah, yeah. If it's getting late, we might yeah. grab Spoke and okay. uh, hold pass on, on the guys. information we gained to him and see what information he might have picked up. All right. I'm going to hold on to you guys a little bit. Give a chance to uh, just to work on John. All right, John, is there anything you wanted to do while you're alone? But you do have Pepper. Go up. Uh, you not hear you. What's that? I'm muted. Um, oh, okay. I, I made a sexual joke about Pepper. Um, oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, thanks. Um, So, I'm interested in this party um, you keep talking about that's fighting against the uh, the lich. <coughs> yeah, she she only knows there's something about something about a daughter uh, of the elven general that was defeated. She doesn't know um, to know much of. Oh. Well, she sounds very she, brave she and it's like she before. sings really she well. She just knows it was some type of clash. She can tell you. Um, no, not really. I, I assume that, like, yeah. They're not going to be ready until 940. I've, okay. I've, yeah, I don't think I have really anything else to ask her. Okay. Cool enough. So uh, we'll wait as the other guys are stepping away. Uh, you notice that uh, Pepper is pretty, pretty straightforward. She's pretty no nonsense. Um, you know, she's she looks capable of doing doing what she wants to do, uh, of doing the uh, job that you need. But she doesn't look like she's um, you know all flashy or talkative or overhyping herself. She doesn't try to like sell you or anything. She pretty much let she know that you know she yeah. gets you where you need to go. She can she can draw a bow pretty well. Um, she seems pretty confident at being a ranger. Yeah, you just feel like there's no bullshit to her. Like, she's definitely definitely very capable. She feels a lot like um, the other people you found at the lost the lost lodge. Uh, so she looks pretty solid. She doesn't look new, um, and she's definitely not trying to Brady. oversell you. She doesn't seem like fanboyish type of thing. She looks. Brady. You know, Pepper. Yeah. I think I like you. All right. The rest of the party will. Um, well, maybe we can get along. <laughs> As long as you uh, can sneak in pretty well and don't make too much noise. I'm aware. You don't even know the half yeah, of my sneaking around. <laughs> <laughs> right. So the rest the rest of the party will come along. Uh, Jew looks like he's uh, on the outhouse taking a pee. Uh, but the rest of you guys will both come to the table. So, um, And it looks like HK has a huge role of maps. Oh. HK became a cartographer while you were out. Apparently. <laughs> Pretty much. He, uh, <laughs> he's kept the uh, Phoenix Feather in business for another year. Uh, good, good, HK's good. just got wait for Jew to be done, done the outhouse. Super hyper protective about the party members. <laughs> All right. So the rest of you guys sit at the table. Let's so what's the map. next step from here? Yep. <clears throat> well, we have uh, two different routes we can take to the to the port town now. We, we went to the map maker. She had a map of the underground that had routes that we could also take that seemed stealthier, different kind of routes to get where we're going. May get us past so, any huh. on the road. But we don't know what's down there either. So, I mean, to decide if we think it's worth the unknown is is a better option or not. It all depends on how well we can operate in the darkness as well. I'm fairly comfortable in dark places. I can see what, rather well in the dark. Hmm. I don't think all of us can. I don't yeah, know if I have dark vision. She looks like she's confident too. I can see what I light on fire. I don't think changes yeah. I don't think I don't think I like innately have dark vision. Yeah, and Jew, Jew is also human too, so he's not going to be able to see as well. Yeah. 
if I if I light fire sources with us. Yeah. If I light something on fire, I can see it. Yeah, you do that immediately can make light, but if you look up sneaking yeah. around. If you light something on fire, you can see it. Was that your? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well. Yeah. I yeah, guess that's not good. wrong. Uh, HK. We could just keep wrapping HK in cloth, and I can just keep lighting him up, and he can walk yeah. in front and be lit up. <laughs> we can wrap him up in all the maps that he has. Yeah, changes do been... not have any type of uh, night vision. No. He could be a, a walking torch. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Just wait for those two to kind of return, and then we'll look at. Uh, um, so basically, it's getting kind of late. Are you guys looking to get room? Um, yeah. Settle in. Yeah. Well, we already paid for those rooms that. Uh... Um, is that going to be at the bloated boar? The bloated boar. Yeah. yeah. Well, we already paid. We already paid for them. <laughs> okay. Uh, was are you guys getting separate rooms? I think we were. Yeah. Yeah. We're all staying together. No. Yeah. Uh, no. That's a lot for you, Alarian. Gay. <laughs> okay. So everyone's going to have a separate room. So that's two, four, six. Uh, Pepper will be uh, here, so she'll come back. She'll meet you at the uh, at the bloated board in the morning. Uh, Sounds good. We're gonna leave the next day. Lee, are you actually going to? Are you actually gonna get a room? Or are you just gonna stay downstairs? I'm actually gonna wait outside in the hall in front of their room. Okay. Stand or sit. And I can stand. So. HK, your mic isn't really picking you up. It's very faint. I'm good. All right, and, I'm, so, and, I'm, and I'm fully awake and observant. I just can't do anything. Really. Do I have to give any visitors oh, a yeah. password to give you to get by? Or? Um, you can certainly do that, <laughs> yes. Avocado. <laughs> yes, he spoke to my father. Avocado? <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. So, Jake, that's to you. Okay, so you guys are back at the uh, the bloated boar. You guys are a uh, quick little drink. Uh, you're going to go to your rooms and crash out for the morning. Nothing else really. Anyone else wanted anything specifically done or say something at this moment when you guys are going to take a full eight hours sleep? Uh, HK yeah. is posting himself as guardian in your hall, so he's going to kind of stay. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna ask my oh, wait, I'm, I'm gonna ask my familiar. I'll I'll call my familiar from it, the pocket dimension, and I'll I'll ask my familiar to just keep watch over me uh, through the yeah. night. Uh, actually, I think at this point, uh, I should also recast find familiar and summon it as a sprite. <laughs> Having a connection to the Fae might be important coming in the near future. So, um, so before bed, I'll I'll spend another ten gold and I'll uh, resummon my familiar as a sprite. As a sprite? Yeah. Okay. So um, he pops up and just chills. So he'll go guard your go guard your room or hang on your bed. Yeah. Play. Playing with, but, uh, your but he playing is, with your candle. He is an actual sprite and he is intelligent, so he might be very important as a as a means of connection to the Fae coming here to the future. So I think that's a good change out uh, there. Okay. What's his name? Um what is his name? What's a good name? Uh, Jean. J E A N. Jean. Jean. Okay. 
All right. So everybody else is good. Bed, 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 bed. Yes, yes, yep. yes. Yeah. Okay. Lee, did you see the chat message? Uh, I need you to resolve that before I go on. <laughs> Hang on, I, I, just, I have to switch this one to private. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, morning will, uh, morning will arise. There is, uh, you know, you guys are kind of getting out of your slumbers and stuff like that. As you kind of look out your windows, there seems to be a large commotion going on in the, uh, the town area center where, the, uh, where the, uh, the well is from there. There's a huge amount of screaming and stuff. There seems to be several guards, three or four guards. And, and overhearing, when you guys kind of lift the window and hear us as you peek your heads out and hear what's going on, uh, you hear, quick. Somebody come! The mayor, he's been murdered. And we're gonna end the uh, we're gonna end the oh, session no. from there. <laughs> what the? He died. Oh, this is gonna turn into Clue. <laughs> <laughs> I told yeah. you we should have warned him that you was I told back you guys. To I told you guys to get your skills <laughs> ready. <laughs> you, don't, you don't. You don't bother the mayor when it's late. <laughs> See, if we had gone over there last night, we could have prevented murder, or we'd be in jail right now. You could have got, there. Could have been a lot of things that could have. Ghostbusters didn't <laughs> care about bothering the mayor. <laughs> this ain't no I Ghostbusters. <laughs> I had a pretty good night, so eh, whatever. <laughs> but we need to run back to to Penelope and Briber, not to. Mention that we bought a map of his house. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't buy any maps. <laughs> Did we buy one of his house? Uh, maybe. I think Who I think you might have. <laughs> hey, HK, <laughs> hold this. <laughs> Put this with the rest of the maps. <laughs> Burn it quick. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs>